G'day guys, Craig from Bendigo Hydro Blasting. Today I'm going to show you a little trick on your lathe that may just save your life. I watch a lot of machining videos and I cringe every time I see someone pull out their piece of emery cloth and show you on the lathe how they smooth over their part. What a lot of these guys are actually showing you is how you can set yourself up to get sucked in and wrapped up amongst uh, stationary and moving objects. Let's go over here and have a look on my little lathe over here and I'll show you what not to do when using emery cloth. One of the first things my instructor showed me as a first year apprentice was to never ever wrap emery paper around a part like this. With a little bit of complacency and unexpected gripping of that cloth, your hands are in there in an instant, possibly followed by your arms, body and head. At least a world of pain, possibly death. Now, if something goes wrong, you're probably going to get away with it on a small lathe like this. But on a bigger lathe, there's a fair chance you're going to die. Now, you may think I'm being a little bit paranoid about this, but when I was a first year apprentice at the Bendigo Ordnance Factory, I saw one of my, one of my workmates narrowly avoid injury when uh, the exact same thing happened to him. He just, a bit complacent, bang, in he went. He was lucky. Never died, never got seriously hurt. But he never did it again. The alternative to this when using emery cloth on your part is to hold the emery cloth against your part like this. By holding the emery cloth against the part like this, you're reducing the surface area there, uh, reducing friction, and there's less chance of it grabbing and uh, hooking up. You've still got to be extremely careful when you're uh, cleaning your part or smoothing over your part like this. But, if something does go wrong, there's less chance that you're going to go in there and meet your maker. Anyhow, hope you got something from this. Stay safe. See you next time.